Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how we can add any image or logo to a motion tracker and also text to our motion tracker. So let's get started. So here in Caden Life, we got the video that we used in our previous example. So what we can do now is to go to the effects panel and um, under the alpha mask and king, make sure to be in all video effects. You click that and you go to motion tracker, click that and apply to your video clip. Here's the properties of the uh, motion tracker. So what we can do is to change this to Moshe if you want to change that too. And then um, we can just reduce the tracker down somewhere here and then place it on this lady's head or somewhere there on the face. To go pull screen to see clear, you can come up here and click to go to pull screen. So we can nicely place it somewhere there. To go out of pull screen, press escape to go out of pull screen. Now, once you're done with that, now change the uh, frame save to arrow, the size to 10. And underneath here, you can see it says analyze. So click this to create the keyframes so that we can copy this to the clipboard. It takes only a few seconds to create this depending on the type of algorithm that you choose. Some will take a little bit longer, some will be okay. So we are done with that now. Let's click copy to clipboard here to copy these keyframes that have been created to the clipboard. So once we're done with that, let's go back to the project bin and bring in our logo. Place our logo on top here. Make sure to have the equal length here and then selecting the logo, go to the effects panel and then um, look for the transform. It's under transform, distort and perspective. So look for the transform, click and uh, place this effect onto your logo. So here it is. So as you can see, the logo is big. So what we need to do is use this transform to uh, resize this. So let's just click and resize that something smaller like this. To go pull screen again, click here to go pull screen so you can see clear. So once you are satisfied with that, let's escape again to go out. And now selecting your logo again, come to these three lines here, or the ellipse here, you can see it says uh, options. Clicking that and you can see one of them is import keyframes from clipboard, which we already copied the motion tracker keyframes to the clipboard. So what we can do is click this and this is the data that created from the motion tracker. Now check to see that this is in zero, check to see that this is already up to the maximum. And then in the map, make sure to change to position because if you're in geometry, uh, when you apply this, it's going to reduce the size of the uh, logo to be equal to the size of the tracker, which is a little bit smaller. So make sure to change this to position. Anything here, if you want to change, it's up to you, but it doesn't matter whether you change or anything, we'll still fix it later. So from here, if you see the object is somewhere here, make sure to put it down and go to the limit keyframes number and check this. Once these ones are done, click OK and this is our tracker. So when we apply that, you can see that our logo drops down to the floor here. It's not up there, so we need to fix this. How do we do that? We add another transform again onto the logo again. And with this, now we can use the transform here to resize this again. So we can use this to place it on top. You can go pull screen here to see it and then escape again if it's all okay. So once you are done with that, that's it. Okay, so that's the first part of this. Second part is to add a text with the logo. So let's delete this. Go to the project bin and create the text. Right click in the project bin, add title clip. And now let's just type in any text here. So let's just type in motion and um, here what we need to do if you want to change increase this up it's okay it's up to you so you can see clear place it right somewhere there and then go up here you can see the add image here click and then go to where you place your logo and select that and open it so it's right here it's a little bit bigger so in the zoom here we need to change this to 50 or whatever number that equal you feel okay, just place that on top here and then create your logo with the text. Bring this on top of our video clip and place it there. 
So as you can see this is the logo now, what we need to do is follow the similar steps that we did previously with the single logo. So that means we need to go to the effects here, in the transform, place it on and then reduce the size a little bit, something like this. Make sure to have the marker in the beginning and then go full screen and place this on top there. Just want to reduce this a little bit, resize this like this and then place this somewhere here now go escape to escape out again now since we have already copied the motion tracker keyframes let's go over to the options here and then import the keyframes doing the same thing check and then in the map change to position uncheck this and click ok so again we need to add another transform and now using this transform we can place it on top here so let's go full screen with the transform, I just want to place this up here. Okay, so there we go. Let's go out of here. So these are the two options that we can use to add a logo or adding text in the motion tracker. Thank you for watching and hope to see you back again in another video.